So yeah, this is a uh, an actual lightsaber build video by somebody else. How's it going, guys? Hope Thank you for having just a I didn't know about this. Day. For today's build, we're going to be making a lightsaber. Very today's build, I'm trying straight. out some new camera angles and some new lighting. So if you like today's build, and that's how a solid. Done, oh, he's, he's machining this out of a solid block of aluminum. If you haven't already, aluminum. Let me know down in the comments aluminium. A future build you would like to see done. That's a. Let's get started. Impressive. It costs a. That's a pricey chunk of metal, man. No, I I got um, I would buy uh, tubes, so hollow tubes with like a 1.5 mil wall. Uh, I I never bought a solid block of aluminium just because the price would be phenomenal. This lightsaber is based off Ram coders from the Force Unleashed That's it, Ram game. coders. Yeah, I've yeah. always liked this lightsaber design for its simplicity. I can tell you, it looks like mine when Ram coders are all kind of look the same because they're all based on the same one, so. You like mine, thank you. I appreciate that. I, I did like the the, uh, the one I made. I, I thought that was good. Never have one of those again, so. Ah. I think it went past the line. He uses different bits to me. The bits he uses are fine. There's a lot of lathe work uh, going into this, isn't there? He was, it, it looks like he's doing more lathe work than, uh, than what I did. A nice lathe, nice lathe. Oh, and now he's got to hollow it all out. This is why I'd, I'd get aluminium tubes with like a 1.5 or 3 mil or slightly thicker wall, so I didn't have to hollow it all out. It's just all done for me. More cost effective. Time saves as well. So his lathe is that on a mill? It looks like he's on a mill or is he? Yeah, he's on a mill, isn't he? Yeah, I did this. Yeah, yeah, the same sort of thing I did. I didn't use a blue ink or anything like that. If I did that, my mill would mad hated my, my mill hated doing that. Me and my mill had a very complicated relationship. And that's the machining process for the emitter. Next, we're going to move on to the pommel. Oh, he's then going to have to hollow out the whole thing again. I, I'd hate to know how much it cost him for all that mill, that metal. Solid block of alu uh, aluminium. Pricey. Not cheap. And the thing is, with one block of aluminium, um, you'd buy the aluminium to length or parts, the length that you need for the parts. Because it's so expensive. Um, and you'd make that once, but getting the actual tubes pre-made uh, you could build multiple lightsabers out of one tube, a one metre tube you could get three or four lightsabers out of it seems very nice work with the lathe though. I must admit, very impressive what he's doing with the lathe he's very good I don't know if he's been trained on how to do it or not or and that's all the machine parts nice. done next we're moving on to the weathering process this saber has using, very uh, heavy battle damage and weathering from years to, of use. To the I'm going to add some blue ink into some areas where I'm going to come in with the Dremel tool and add some Did damage. I use blue ink? No, I never used a blue ink. With, with the battle damage, I just went to town on it. Um, did I use a Dremel? No, I didn't use a Dremel. Some, sorry, on occasion, now and then, if I wanted to get some very fine battle damage, I used a Dremel. I use an angle grinder and some other tools to do the battle damage. But the angle a Dremel's perfectly fine. Now that we've got our battle damage, we need some colour. I've added some black paint to all the parts and I'm simply removing it with a scotch white pad. This gives it an aged and weathered look. Uh, different way of doing it. 
I uh, I added the paint, like I, I sprayed the whole thing, and then I removed it with um, paint remover. Same sort of thing. So he's doing a very Next, good job. Onto the leather wrapped handle. I found this leather online for a couple of dollars. It is you fake my leather, leather, but it works oh, thank you. just the no, same. I appreciate I'm that. adding small bits of super glue as uh, I wrap slowly. Yeah, I, I prefer my leather wrap. Um, truth be told, I can't do this kind of leather wrap, which is why I never had it on my sabers. I prefer to put uh, a bit, nice piece of leather around it and then stitch it together with a nice, stri nice stitch seam. Uh, I always kind of like that. Plus, I knew it never come off with this. With the handle, there's a chance it could do. Onto the assembly process. I'm using oh. some green Loctite to make sure that all the parts are held very securely. No, I never use Loctite. Are you just going to? Is this video going to be constantly? So he says he uses this, and then you're going. Did you use that? <laughs> no, I didn't use Loctite. Interesting. Uh, where's his switch? Is this just going to be um, a physical hill? It's not actually going to have electronics. As the saber nears completion, all that's left is to weather the leather handle. I'm simply going to give it a few scuffs with a knife and give it a few touches of paint to yeah, make I it just, seem as if it's been I didn't, used do, I didn't do the knife thing. Wars. I did the. Um, uh, I did add a bit of paint to it though, and then to like remove the paint. It's nice, it looks good. It's not it's not bad, I mean it's it's a very nice ram coater. Um is it would I say it's better than mine? It's different to mine. I, I wouldn't say it's better or worse. I wouldn't say mine's better or worse. Here it's it is, a different finished saber. I hope you enjoyed today's build. Approach on Remember the same to thing. Subscribe if you haven't already and leave a like. Have a good one. So yeah, I, I, I I'm not going to say it's better or worse. I think it's, it's I think it's a very very nice uh, version of a Ramco to Hill. Um, I, I don't think you can say mine was better because uh, it was a functioning lightsaber. I, I assume if he wanted that to be a functioning lightsaber, he could do. You know, he could make that into a functioning one, but obviously that wasn't his goal. He wanted to make the, the actual hilt, and he did a very good job of it. So, yeah, kudos to you on that one, mate. Very impressive. Uh, he did his, um, his work, his skill level and the work he did on the lathe was very impressive i was in, i was i was taken aback by that so that was really good um so yeah but that must have cost a lot of money for him to to mill out solid aluminium um blanks to get what he wanted really expensive i mean one small blank would have been the same as almost all the tube that i would get myself so yeah not bad, not bad.